Free will is an illusion, says the author of Your Brain is a Time Machine. Do we have a free will or is everything predetermined? The subject of free will versus predestination has occupied the philosophers and scientists for ages. The nature of reality has been debated by great thinkers and they've reached different conclusions. What if we don't have free will at all? According to a thought-provoking theory put forward by leading neuroscientists, our free will is only an illusion. Are we just puppets on a string? Do we really have a free will? In his book, Your Brain is a Time Machine, brain researcher and best-selling author Dean Buonomano uses evolutionary biology, physics, and phys philosophy to present his influential theory of how we tell and perceive time. The human brain, he argues, is a complex system that not only tells time but creates it. It constructs our sense of chronological flow and enables mental time travel, simulations of future and past events. What is time? Is our sense of time's passage an illusion? Does free will exist or is the future predetermined? In pursuing the answers, Buonamano reveals as much about the fascinating architecture of the human brain as he does about the intricacies of time itself. This virtuosic work of popular science leads to an astonishing realization. Your brain is, at its core, a time machine. Dean Buonamano, who is a professor at UCLA, explores the theory of eternalism and reaches the conclusion our free will is nothing but an illusion. According to Bonamano, it seems that everything in the universe has already happened under eternalism. In the context of physics, there's two general views of the nature of time. One we can think of is presentism, which only the present is real, and the second which we can think of is eternalism, in which the past, present, and future are equally real. And under this view, now is to time as here is to space. In other words, just as I happen to be here now, it's perfectly acceptable to me that there are other points in space I could be. Similarly, just as I am here now under eternalism, there are plenty of other points in time, the past and future, where perhaps other versions of myself or parts of my world line exist and are as real as I am. Under eternalism, the question of free will and the determinism becomes much less clear because it seems that everything in the universe has already happened under eternalism. But Amano bases many of his assumptions on the intriguing block universe theory, according to which time only appears to pass. Does time only appear to pass? The block universe theory proposed by Bradford Scow, an associate professor of philosophy at MIT, postulates that the past tense, future, and present coexist in the universe. By treating the past, present, and future as materially identical, the theory is consistent with the laws of physics as we understand them. In one sense, the block universe theory seems unthreatening to our intuitions. When Scow says time does not pass, he does not believe that nothing ever happens. Events occur, people age, and so on. Things change, Scow agrees, but he also believes that events do not sail past us and vanish forever. They just exist in different parts of space-time. Professor Bonomano says, it's important to have a clear understanding of what free will really means. I think in reality, from a neuroscience basis, what we should think of as free will is simply a subjective feeling of your unconscious brain making decisions. Pain might be a sense of what happens when somebody steps on our toe. Free will is the subjective sense, the feeling we get when the unconscious brain makes the decision, giving us the impression that it was the conscious mind that made that decision, Professor Bonomano says. He thinks our brain was designed to navigate our continuously changing world by predicting what will happen and when, and by doing so, he proposes a radically new view of the brain in which the paramount function of neuronal circuits is to generate processes whose actions define time. 
He admits that physicists and neuroscientists still have much to learn about the true nature of time, but by exploring concepts that at a first glance may seem far-fetched, we can get a better understanding of reality. Drawing on physics, evolutionary biology, and philosophy, Professor Buonamano shows that the brain's ultimate purpose may be to predict the future and thus that your brain is a time machine. Thank you for joining us on the Plain Mundane Show. I'm Alex Aquarius. Over and out.